Hello all, this is Halloween, and today we're doing something a little different. Anyone who knows me and knows that I love Lucy would know that this was a very big deal for me. Me and my husband recently went to New York, as you know from the Niagara Falls videos, and we spent two days in Buffalo and we spent the other half of our trip in Jamestown, New York, where Lucille Ball is from. Today I'm taking you to the Lucy Desi Museum in Jamestown, New York. Enjoy. We're here at Wicked Warren's Brewery in Jamestown, New York. And this will be the third time we've eaten at this place since we arrived here in Jamestown yesterday around three o'clock. So it is definitely worthy, a must, when you come to Jamestown. Let's go in and get a bite to eat. the Lucy Desi Museum for the second day in a row. Now when you get your wristbands for this museum and the Comedy Museum, um, you can come for two days. Like the passes are good for two days. So um, we didn't get a whole lot of time in here yesterday and I wanted to come back and catch a little bit more, do a little bit of an intro for you guys. So we're here, let's check it out. Let's see the gift shop. Awesome. This is the shirt I bought yesterday. I'm wearing it today. <laughs> it was my favorite one. They have a lot of them though. A lot of different shirts. Ornaments. I actually have a lot of this stuff already. <laughs> It was hard to find something I didn't have. Look at that. I didn't notice that yesterday. That William Frawley and Vivian Vance. Looks like a cross stitch or something. That's cool. I love that painting. This you can buy. I believe online. It's done by some kind of cartoon artist, caricature artist. But I definitely wouldn't mind having that piece. And some Desi. They got calendars. 
that will be your 2025 calendar. Let's talk to Lucy. They have that actually in the um, museum. All of the different people she interviewed on her radio show. Oh, look at this Lucy. Ooh, I might have to have that. How many people have Water cups and mugs. Lucy Arnaz. And she's singing. That's cool. What else we learned while we were in the museum is that Star Trek would have never existed without Lucy and Desilu Productions. So that's why there's Star Trek stuff in here. There they are. I have that picture from the newspaper. Oh. Yeah, I definitely didn't get to see all of this when I was here. I have this book and read almost the whole thing. I'm not much of a reader, but I almost got to the very end. Lucille Ball, Ball of Fire. It's a great book. Really good. I have it hardcover. I also have the Long Long Trailer. They have Daisy Lou hats, which is cool. And the store is a little pricey. All their t-shirts are about $30. Um, they have some things that are like $5, which is cool, like little cups and stuff like that. They have this little golden book, Lucille Ball. Isn't that cool? I love it. It's only $6. I might get that. to the Lucille Ball Museum in Jamestown, New York. Check out all these costumes Lucy wore. Oh my goodness, look at this from Pioneer Woman. I think this might be the same one she wore in Pioneer Woman. It says Lucy's Victorian dress. Lucille Ball's dear friend Anne Southern made several appearances as as the Countess Frambois on The Lucy Show. And Lucy helps the Countess. Lucy hatches a plan to trick Mr. Mooney by disguising herself as an old woman in this Victorian lavender gown. I love it. There's Lucille Ball and Elizabeth Taylor. <clears throat> this cowboy costume is amazing. Cowgirl costume, I should say. <laughs> is awesome. I wish I could take it home. Look at all of these. Tonight show outfit. Shows her down there on this night show. She wore this outfit when she appeared as a guest on the Tonight Show with Joan Rivers in 1984. <laughs> Donnie and Marie blouse. So I guess when she was on the Donnie and Marie Osmond show. Yep. <laughs> Lucille Ball and Carol Burnett. If you didn't already know, they were pretty much best friends until Lucille Ball's passing. Um, two funny ladies. Can you even imagine having lunch with these two together? Oh my gosh. Your sides would split. But this is a costume worn by Lucille Ball who mentored Carol Burnett and co-starred in her first TV special, Carol Plus Two, with Zero Mostel. It says the strength of that special helped to convince the networks to offer Burnett her own variety show. 
The Carol Burnett Show, as we all know and love. <laughs> Lucy's bunny ears. Look at that fabulous dress. These shoes are incredible. Stone pillow boots. I, that's a movie, one movie I have not seen yet, but I really want to watch it. She actually plays a, a homeless woman in the stone pillow. It was a 1985 film, uh, made for TV film. And those were her boots that she wore, so cool. Look at these fabulous outfits. <coughs> Lucy's gowns, it says. The gold floral was worn for Bob Hope's April special on NBC. And the blue velour gown here was created by Rhett Turner. She looked so good in baby blue. I think she knew that. Because a lot of her stuff is baby blue. Look at this. This is what she wore when she portrayed Charlie Chaplin. That's her Charlie Chaplin costume. Lucy, I need to borrow this. I'll give it back. I'm doing Charlie Chaplin on the channel pretty soon, so. Look at that. That's awesome. She looks like him, too. TV guide that she was featured on. If you didn't already know, fun fact, Lucille Ball appeared on more TV guide covers than any other female in history. If you don't know what a TV guide is, <laughs> I understand. It was this thing back in the day before new TVs came along where you could look through, you'd get it usually in the checkout line. It was a little magazine and it would tell you what was on, what was coming on TV and what nights and what times to watch it. Coming through Desi Lou Studios. Look at old Desi. Oh, Lucy's director's chair. <laughs> so much you can watch here too. You can just sit here all day and watch different footage, home videos, and look at this car. This is fabulous. Mercedes, Lucy's Mercedes, it says. Well, longtime chauffeur Frank Gorey was officially the driver of this car. Beverly Hills residents could occasionally catch Lucy behind the wheel. Sometimes she'd head out early and drive herself to Universal Studios where she was filming the Here's Lucy series. Other times she'd sneak away to Salon Christophe in West Hollywood to have her hair done. Aww, ain't that special. Desi's office. Looks like his office chair. That looks pretty, that's a man for you. Have some kind of ugly chair that they just found comfortable. And of course an ashtray, they both smoked pretty heavily for their whole lives. Look at 
this. I gotta see this. This piece of art. Look at all of her awards. Golden Globes. This is a photo. I love this type of medium for art, but it's comprised of a bunch of photos. And it looks like fans. It's fan art of all of her fans. And you stand back and it's the photograph of Lucy and Desi. That's awesome. <laughs> Makes me want to do that. That's really cool. We have close. And we have Lucy fans. Isn't that neat? The way they do that. It's just amazing. gift shops so I just wanted to show you the other one real quick they have such cute stuff Little ornaments. This is Lucille Ball and Technicolor. This is the I Love Lucy show and Technicolor. You can get all the Christmas shirts, which are really cool too. But I guess Christmas is just once a year, so you know, maybe I won't do that. I might get this though. I might need this. $10. Yeah, I'm gonna need one for my Lucy tree. So I'll grab one of those. These I kinda, I have. This is the Lucy Museum. So, I have a lot that are similar to these that they, um, and I have this one and I had that one. So. These are funny. <laughs> I need these for me and my bestie Winterbauer. <laughs> Lucy and Ethel. And this one too. The original besties. I just wanted to give you a, a look-see of what's in the two gift shops. I got a cookie jar here. The little dolls. Wallets. The wild thing is, is that they have a lot of t-shirts and stuff, but they don't really have like a lot of the like purses and dolls and other kind of stuff. Most of it's t-shirts and hats, stickers, which is surprising.
Now I was told at the Comedy Museum that this print is an actual, is not just a polka dotted mug, but it's the print from her actual dress. Like they had a picture of the dress or something, and they took it and took that and printed it onto the mugs. You can see probably on the coaster how it's kind of ruffled. It's pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's episode. I wanted to tell you about some things, so I've actually been waiting to do this intro and outro so that I could get everything in there. But some things that I didn't know, we went on our trip at the end of August. And at the beginning of August is Lucille Ball's birthday. She was born August 6th, 1911. And that first weekend of August, they have a comedy festival there in Jamestown, New York, where all of these comedians from all over the United States come and they perform. The National Comedy Museum is right there. You've got the Lucy Desi Museum right there. And they even open up her childhood home to Lucille Ball fans. And they sell all kinds of Lucy paraphernalia, things that you can't find in the gift shop. I didn't know this or we would have probably strived to go that weekend. I had no idea about this. So if you're a Lucy fan and you want to go visit Jamestown, I recommend that you do it in the first weekend of August, basically the weekend of her birthday. It'll be crazy and kind of crowded. If you're not into crowds, maybe not, but the fact that her childhood home is opened up to the public for both viewing and that they're selling all kinds of unique paraphernalia is one main reason to, to just go that weekend. In addition to that, I wanted to touch on the National Comedy Museum. It is an immersive comedic experience. And what I mean by that is that when you, you get a wristband that's good for both museums. Now you can just do the Lucy Desi Museum or you can do both museums. I recommend doing both and here's why. If you love comedy, you get this wristband when you go and it's good for two days, just like I was saying, but you go to this kiosk when you first go into the National Comedy Museum and basically you're picking all the movies you like, all the com comedians you like at this kiosk. It has like a chip in your, in your wristband so you put it up to the kiosk and it'll bring up all kinds of different questions that it asks you about the kind of comedy that you like, the comedians that you're into, the movies that you watch. And as you go through the museum, it's basically catered to your comedic style, your comedic preferences, which is really awesome. So I've never been to a museum like that and I think it's really cool. They have comedy karaoke which you will go and listen on headphones to Roseanne Barr or Chris Rock or something. And you're basically just listening to how they do their act. And then you go up on stage and there's a little bar there too. You'll go up on stage and you can perform their act in front of a small audience. The bar doesn't open up till noon. We were actually there in the morning hours, which was great because we didn't have a whole group of people. Now, if there's a lot of other people there and they they put their wrist up to the sensor, then it's gonna be catered to them. But if you go to the museum early in the morning where there's really not a lot of people there, then you can have the whole experience catered to you. And of course, I was wearing my Lucy stuff. I had my Lucille Ball Comedy Festival shirt on that I had bought at the gift shop the day before. I had my I love spooky purse that's written like I love Lucy. I had my polka dotty nails and and all of that. So everybody that worked there was like, oh, you love Lucy? Come over here. I didn't actually cover the comedy museum in part because I was like, I cover everything, you know? I wanted just one thing to relax. And we did, we relaxed, we went through the museum. It took probably an hour and a half, two hours that we spent in there. We had a great time. They had this, this thing that you could actually sit in for um, the Chocolate Factory job switching episode. And you and a friend or you and your partner or you and your husband or whatever can sit in and be Lucy and Ethel and <laughs> be eating the chocolates. That was really cool. 
Her polka dot dress is not in the Lucille Ball Museum. If you notice that from my pictures, it's actually on display in the National Comedy Museum, which I was surprised by because obviously that's one of her most famous dresses. Just so you know, if you don't go to the National Comedy Museum as well, then you're not gonna be able to see the polka dot dress because it's not in the Lucy Museum. Wicked Warren's was amazing. If you do go there, it's a brewery. They do really awesome pizzas. Their poutine was phenomenal. They have really great food. I think that's like, we only ate at one other place while we were in Jamestown, which was called The Pub, and it was really good too. They had really good beef on weck. I had the stuffed shells with meatball. My experience at the Lucille Ball Museum was awesome. There is a lot of reading, but I've read like so many books and articles. I, I kind of skipped through that part because I know a lot of that already. I wanted to see the artifacts. So that's what I really went there for. And I just wanted to be walking on the same ground that Lucille Ball once walked on herself when she was just growing up. I thought that in itself was amazing. Like, I was feeling like Lucy, you know? Like, this, wow, this town is where she grew up. It was amazing. It was a beautiful little historic town. Uh, they even had a music festival there in a courtyard, and we enjoyed that. I was surprised, actually, by the gift shop. I don't, you know, you saw the footage. I mean, what did you think? I have a Lucy collection at home, which has so much great memorabilia that it was underwhelming to me, the gift shops. I had gone there expecting to drop some bills in the gift shop. But it was a lot of t-shirts, hats, um, magnets, coffee cups, and things like that. It's like, okay, <laughs> I have a lot of that stuff already. The, the um, ornaments that they offered, I either had them or they were just, you know, I had some kind of a version of it that was better. I got the Hallmark collection, so it's really good. And these were just like those um, blown glass ornaments, most of them. And the the ones where it's just her standing, I already have those. So um, I have some really great things in my collection. I have this beautiful piece that we got in Savannah, Georgia on the Riverwalk. It's welded from metal. And when we went there, it was the only one the guy had made. And I bought it. <laughs> he said it was really hard to to make it because to get her features just right and everything my husband this year bought me a ball candle with lucille ball's face on it and he had that special made for me so it's a one of a kind my dad gets me stuff all the time from yard sales that he goes to he got this piece that's just a black and white um and her her lips are painted in red with glitter and i think it's really beautiful in its simplicity i I really cherish that piece a lot. A whole bunch of things. My stepmother got me a lamp last year. That was really cool. Chocolate factory lamp for my collection. And I have this one, this other one of a kind piece that's all, I wanna say it's almost Warhol-ish. It's not really Warhol. It's just really cool and unique. And it's a box and it actually lights up. I don't have it lit in the picture, but I have a lot of really unique pieces and I was expecting more, I guess. They have two gift shops and um, they both kind of offered the same kind of stuff. So if you're going there expecting to drop a, a bunch of money and you're a, a fan like me in the gift shop, you, you likely won't <laughs> because it's going to be a bunch of stuff you already have or you have more interesting things. I loved just being there. I recommend it to you if you're a Lucille Ball fan. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.